All right, folks. I'm separating this off into another episode. Just for you bicycle f fans and friends. Inside this case is a whole bunch of toys. Trike stuff that I brought from China. I had it sent to me from uh, Germany and I had it sent to me from Oregon. T-Cycle sent me a few things. And also uh, HP Villa Technic. Some of these things were a little bit of a pain in the butt to get. But good stuff. From T-Cycle I got a custom pouch that hooks onto your frame that's designed to hold your air pump. Which, uh, which is cool. I've been keeping my air pump in my seat, but I think it would be nicer if I had it connected to the frame at all times. Now, this is kind of uh, interesting. This is a, a headrest from HP Velotechnic. T-Cycle made me a custom headrest, and it's really cool. And it comes with a whole new bracketing system to connect to the back of the seat, which means that I couldn't quite send my old bracketing system back. But HP sent me this, which hooks on to their existing bracketing system. So, I figure I'm gonna try this one out because HP sent it to me. I'll use it for a few months or whatever. And then uh, next time I go back to China, I'll swap it out for the custom made one that they, they put together for me. Pat, if you're watching, or anybody from T-Cycle, thank you so much for that headrest. It's super comfortable, super interesting. I wanna try it, but I, I wanna give this a little bit of a try too. So, um, otherwise, it's just sort of like throwing this away. So, uh, I'm gonna use this for a little while, then I'm gonna take it apart, take it all the way back to China, swap it out with yours from T-Cycle and bring it back. Um, also, T-Cycle's uh, headrest had a lot of brackets and things like this, and it was a little bit heavy, and I'm gonna be going up and down some really nasty roads in Laos. So, uh, I think that headrest will be great, like, from, for going on those long rides in Australia, where I'll just rest that head back and enjoy it, so. What else do we got? Okay, this is an idler. This is basically what is, goes right here. And this center bolt here is a little bit bent and I think my bearings are worn out and uh, TerraCycle makes these, uh, custom makes them. They even do cool things like print the Jio logo on the parts, which is, which is a neat little accessory. HP Velotechnic sent me a length of chain that's you know obviously designed for the Scorpion. Um, I have a new fenders uh, that uh, I put the JY on the front, so those are going to be good. I can't wait to get those hooked up and set up. I got a new uh, handle shifter for my uh, roll-off uh, speed hub. If you look at the one I have right now, you can see it's just totally worn through. And it's just, it doesn't shift very smoothly and I'm, I'm thinking maybe if I get a, a new handle it'll help. I got another handle for the other side. I've got another T, T end for one of my T-bars here to replace. Um, Pat at T-Cycle made me a custom set of some different options for how to clean mud out of a rear fender. And uh, he, he just whipped some things up. And he, it was a funny thing, he whips them up and then he puts my logo on them. Can you see that, my logo on there? Jayo, that's funny. So hopefully I can scoop out the dirt. He's given me a few different versions. This one might be a little bit too wide, like as far as the teeth there. I don't even know if they'll fit inside my fender. But either way, it's just the thought that counts. The guy's, the guy's a sweetheart. Uh, another accessory mount here that I can, I can find a spot for. I have a few ideas. And then he sent me this thing, which I'm not 100% sure. He calls it, where's the paperwork for it? This is a chain tube kit. I'm not 100% sure what it does. And then of course, uh, HP sent me some pads for uh, my wrist rests. These are the old ones. They're pretty, they're pretty nasty. So it'll be nice to replace them with some beauties. <laughs> Look at how black that is compared to the other side. It's cool. All right, finish the first fender. Nice, gonna be nice to have that mud guard on there. I'm gonna have to be careful. That's like very easy to clamp onto stuff and just rip right off, so. Uh, we'll be starting out with some really nice, I put these emblems on. These are actually from T-Cycle 2. These are um, reflective 3M decals. Really, really good quality. I might put a couple on the, on the trike too. I bought, a, I bought a few, maybe put add fuel to life. I have that there. All right guys, so this is a big one. This is the, uh, the new chain that I got from uh, HP Velotechnic for the trike. I put it alongside the old chain. I know it's dirty. I, uh, I'm kind of just doing my best here. But I matched up those ends, I stretched it out, and I made sure that they were even, you know, link to link to link. And I popped off 
the remaining chain. I'll take I'll take a few of these links with me on the road, but I don't know. If, maybe I'll just take the whole thing. Actually, it'd be fine. Put it in a bag, carry it with me. But uh, let's see how long the uh, the old chain stretched. So I can do that pretty easy, just by pulling them both. So this is how much my old chain stretched from the new one. I I, I stretched it out one, two, three lengths. <laughs> so okay, needed to be changed. All right, guys. So the idlers in and uh, doing pretty good. I couldn't use the original bolt that came with this idler because it wasn't long enough so I had to use the uh, the original which I was really looking to get rid of because the original one is actually bent but anyways uh, I think it's fine it's fine the new chain is installed and it seems like everything is uh, is okay I haven't uh, uh, heard any problems with it I need to sort of take it on the road now and and sort of uh, get a feel for it and, and see if uh, see if there's any problems that uh, I need to address now. Uh, the tires are a little flat. I got a flat over here. I don't know why. It's sitting for a while. Maybe it's just just uh, just sitting for a while. Everything else is pretty good. All right, guys. <laughs> so this is the bracket for the headrest, the original one I had on. And then this is the headrest that HP Velotechnic gave me to replace it. I have no idea. I feel it's, it's one of these Chinese tests of how to fit the square peg in the round hole. It just doesn't seem to work. I think maybe I should have brought uh, T-Cycle's headrest. I'm going to put the old one back on. I mean, the only reason I wanted to replace it is because it's getting a little... It's getting a little nasty, but I mean, it's it's still usable. And then I'll just carry around this other one until HP kind of tells me what I should do. But yeah, I, I the headrest is going to have to wait. Well, I just uh, did a little test ride back up and down this courtyard, just to try and see how the chain was working and. These cogs here and here are skipping. Every time they go, the chain is skipping on them. They've been warped too much. I kind of want, I was thinking maybe I could flip them around. This one I think I can, but this one is, it's part of this whole, this whole connection. I think I need a new, this new, piece. This is a separate part from roll-off. Fucking pain in the ass. I have to uh, put the old chain back on, I think, again. Carry this heavy chain with me until I can get this new part from roll-off. I'm done today. I, I don't want to do anything more. I'm really frustrated. I thought I thought this was gonna, I thought that the chain was, in, was the issue but it's these little sprockets. And that means that I'm gonna have to stay here another day. I was thinking I could get out of here tomorrow. That's not gonna happen. I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm, I'm really frustrated, sort of like. No more, no more for today. Piss me off. And that headrest, I just, I just talked to HP, they sent me the wrong one. So the headrest that they sent me isn't right which means I could have brought the T-Cycle headrest here and, and replaced it and had a really nice headrest. Carry these things, I dealt with all of these shipping mishaps and frustrations and I really, I, I thought that I was gonna get these, this, this set up for the, for the roll off, but that didn't come. So now I'm, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Frustrated.